When visitors come to a town or region, the first port of call is usually the visitor's information centre. These centres are generally easy to find under the I for Information sign. In Longreach, the visitor's information centre is in the main street, Eagle Street, near the big roundabout, housed in a quaint replica of the first Qantas office. Locals with lots of local information run the Longreach centre, people like Mary Higgins. The main purpose of the Information Centre is to provide information um, about the area to visitors. Longreach itself has a lot of local history and uh, there's some great local stories to be told about Longreach and uh, we, can tell the, we tell these stories in the Powerhouse Museum in Longreach. So as well as the museums that we have here, there's also a number of other activities including boat rides, there's a Cobb Co coach ride, um, even a walk down the main streets are uh, quite exciting for visitors because there's always a chance to talk to locals and um, experience life, a lifestyle in the bush that they don't normally um, experience in the coast. The first questions are generally about the Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame and uh, Qantas Founders Museum, but they're also interested in Longreach, the, the township, the people, our lifestyle, um, what there is to do um, if you were living here, if you were a local. I think may, a lot of the experiences that people are looking for when they come out here is to connect with the local people and to actually feel part of the community. Uh, we also encourage people to join in with the local events and there are a lot of local events um, and these social occasions give uh, visitors the opportunity again to meet locals and um, to sort of make a connection with the town. We'll pause now and answer a multiple choice question. These will be scattered through the movies. Have fun with them and see how much you can remember. So, how did you go? Not that hard, was it? Time now to get back to Mary Higgins. There are a number of natural attractions around the area. We have, uh, we're on the banks of the Thompson River, so there's the opportunity to fish and camp. Uh, there's also a number of national parks where people can, um, again, fish and camp and just enjoy the outback. Most people tell us how much they enjoy meeting local people and just experiencing this outback, this outback town. As we're the other Longreach Regional Council, um, we also promote the, the nearby towns of Ilfracombe, Isisford and Yarraka and there's, there's a lot of things to do in, in these towns and uh, the drive, sometimes you could base yourself in one of the towns and spend uh, just day trips going around the area. That helps the visitor experience the whole, the whole region, not just one, one part of it. When a visitor arrives in town, if they do come straight into the um, Visitor Information Centre, we can give them all the information that they need. We can give them information about the tourist attractions, about the services that are here, uh, retail outlets, their opening times and things like that. We can also give them suggested itineraries, uh, which is a better use of their time. And uh, we're quite happy to um, help with other information, any other information that they need about the area or even about um, other towns in the region. Excellent. We have now been broadly introduced to the Longreach region. Now it's time to dig a little deeper. In the next movie, we'll explore the Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame and Outback Heritage Centre.